Uh, the Prime Minister has called it, hopefully, he says, the last reshuffle of this cabinet. Now, because he believes he has done a good job in shuffling ministers around, but experts feel this could be a classic case of much ado about nothing. It was a highly anticipated cabinet reshuffle, aimed at perception change for a government battling one scam after another, hurtling from one controversy after another. But the changes at the end of this much anticipated reshuffle, cosmetic. This time when the government is, you know, facing such a crisis of image, it was important that the government send out a, a big message with this cabinet reshuffle. In fact, the Prime Minister had hinted as much or had promised this when he did his last reshuffle earlier in the year. A reshuffle being called incomplete by those who are very much part of the government. There is a question mark between the Allies, DMK and Congress. That is the message which Manmohan Singh is trying to push. What is this a directionless change? Because take the case of Jairam Ramesh. If uh, he has messed up his portfolio in the opinion of the Prime Minister, why is he elevated to the cabinet rank? If he, is done, if he has done well to deserve a promotion, why take away the portfolio from him? While the Prime Minister said this would be the last cabinet reshuffle before the Lok Sabha elections of 2014, a balancing act that he undertook to balance his cabinet, the question many are raising is what was the rationale in what is being seen as a very hollow reshuffle? Or is it that the Prime Minister decided to play cautious and just to save, even for the Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh? In New Delhi, Navika Kumar for Times Now.